Happy Halloween, guys. Welcome back to Come Again TV, where all horror culture collides for the month of October. I'm Shannon, and if you're new to the channel, please make sure you smash that subscribe button and click on the little bell below to receive notifications on all our uploads. With that being said, today on this week's October Pop Reviews, we'll be taking a look at the Pop Movies number 51, Scream Ghostface vinyl figure, so stay tuned. As I said, this is the Pop Movies number 51 Scream Ghostface vinyl figure. The original in the Scream film franchise just simply titled Scream was written by Kevin Williamson and directed by Wes Craven. The film was released on December 20th, 1996 with a budget of $14 million and gained $173 million from the box office. You'll see here we have the Pop Movies logo along with the Scream title logo in the center and the number 51 with the image of Ghostface in the corner. And of course, the ghost face name below. As usual, you get a nice display side for in-the-box collectors. And a window on the front of the box and the side. On the back, we see the Pop Movies logo being number 51 in the movies line. And below it, the movie poster for Scream. Ghostface, collect the entire line of Funko Pop Movies super stylized vinyl figures. Opening the box, we get a nicely designed Ghostface vinyl figure. The first thing I noticed with this figure was something I didn't really care for. Now there are mixed feelings from collectors and fans on this one. And that's that Funko left the Popeyes inside the eyes of the mask. I don't really care for it. Yes, they do blend in with the black on the mask's eyes. But still, it just doesn't sit well with me. Other than that, I do really like the look of this pop. The mask has a very nice sculpt. I've noticed on other Ghostface pops, there's, there was quite a bit of white paint blading from the mask onto the black areas of the figure. However, that doesn't really seem to be the case here. As the paint seems to be incredibly crisp. In the box. It did look as if his waist could move where his sash is, but sadly, sticking with Funko Pop tradition, only the head moves. It is, however, hindered when you move it in the direction of his knife-wielding hand, as the mouth of his mask does hit against his wrist, but it does turn all the way around the other way. This is a pure black figure, and only the face is painted with white. As you see, he is wielding a nice, blood-covered, hunting knife ready to make another call. It does look like the fringes of the costume are actually a part of the sculpt rather than being added later. The cuts at the bottom of his costume are very nicely cut. They did take an immense amount of time with the detail on this pop. I really like the look of the boots too. I actually had a pair of boots exactly like that when this film came out way back in 96. One of the nicest features on this pop is the little tuft of cloth at the top of his hood. Very similar to Deadpool. Very nice. Overall, there were a total of seven killers throughout the film franchise, with the first two being Billy Loomis and Stu Mocker, played by Skeet Ulrich and Matthew Lillard. Then in Scream 2, we had Billy's mom, Mrs. Loomis, who disguised herself as a reporter named Debbie Salt, and Timothy Oliphant, who played Mickey, quite possibly the best psycho in the series. In Scream 3, we got one killer in Sydney's long-lost brother, Roman Bridger, played by Scott Foley. And then in Scream 4, we had Jill Roberts and Charlie Walker, portrayed by Emma Roberts and Rory Culkin, the younger brother of Macaulay. 
In a bit of movie trivia, Matthew Lillard stated in a 2009 interview that he was contracted to reprise his role as Stu from the first film as the primary antagonist, having survived his supposed death in the first film and orchestrating new attacks from prison on high school students and once again targeting Sydney. However, due to the Columbine High School massacre of April 20th, 1999, the original plot was scrapped shortly before production began. So there you have it, guys, on this week's special Haunted October edition of Pop Review, the Pop Movies number 51 Scream Ghostface vinyl figure. Have a happy and safe October, guys. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV. Trick or treat. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button and click on the little bell to receive notifications on all our upcoming videos. Hit the like button, make sure and leave us a comment so we know how you felt about this video. And don't forget to share with your family and friends. Until next time, I'm Shannon for Come Again, where all geek culture collides.